بسم الله والحمد لله والصلاة والسلام على رسول الله نبينا محمد ومن اتبع الهدى. Another piece of advice as it relates to books and libraries is what we find in the books of the Salaf as it relates to the treatment of books. For example, in Al Jama' the Akhlaq al Rawi wa Adab al Sama by Imam Khatib al Baghdadi rahmatullahi alayhi who died 463 Hijri, which is the 5th century Hijri, he speaks about the etiquette of a student of knowledge and how to seek knowledge and how to sit with the scholar. But he also speaks about, uh, and many other affairs as it relates to seeking knowledge, and from those affairs he speaks about how the student treats his books. And we should understand as Muslims that our Islamic books are like are unlike other books. Our Islamic books are not newspapers. Our Islamic books are not educational books such as English, math, science, computers, technology and the like. Our Islamic books contain the names of Allah, Azza wa Jal. Our Islamic books contain the mention of the Prophet Muhammad Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam, the mention of the Sahaba, the mention of the great Salaf of this Ummah. So our Islamic books should be dignified and respected and treated accordingly. So he mentions that in detail in this book, and it's not translated. Likewise, Tathkir al Tisamu al-Mutakallam by Ibn Jama'a al-Kanani, another important book, and he was around, he's a contemporary to Shaykh al-Islam ibn Taymiyyah ibn Uqayyim and others. He was around during the 8th century Hijri. He mentioned specific details about the treatment of your books. That book is also isn't translated, but you do have an abridged version that's translated. And you find it, chapter 5, the etiquette with books. And about the treatment of your books, uh, writing notes in your books placing your books down, placing your books on the shelves, and the like. It's a very important subject amongst the, the Salaf. And like we mentioned, that respect for what's in the book is displayed in respect of the book. You also have Sheikh Uthaymin, rahimahullah ta'ala, from the current scholar, Sheikh Uthaymin, rahimahullah ta'ala, in his Kitab al-Ilm. Uh, in his Kitab al-Ilm, which was translated, but wasn't completed. So this portion that we're reading now, it's not present in the English translation. Sheikh Uthaymin, rahimahullah ta'ala, has fi kutub talib al-ilm. Kayfa yata'amal talib al-ilm ma'al kutub aw ma'al kitab. How does a student engage with his book? How does the student engage with his books? And he has several pages, several pieces of, of advice about treatment of the books. So in that regard, you wouldn't find amongst the Salaf, nor the scholars or a student of knowledge, you shouldn't find individuals placing plates on top of books, food on top of books, or, for example, mugs on top of books. You wouldn't find that because they are showing utmost and utter respect for for the knowledge which is present in the books. So this is advice for our brothers and sisters as it relates to respecting their books, not placing plates, mugs, food, clothing, garbage, or anything else on top of your books because those books are Islamic books containing the names of Allah, the Prophet, the Prophet Muhammad sallallahu alaihi wasallam, the Sahaba, and those are that's our religion. So have respect and dignity and honor for our religion by respecting the books of the religion. Allah knows best. Wa sallallahu alaihi wasallam. Wa barakatuhu. Nabiya Muhammad. Wa ala alihi wa sahbihi wa sallam. Tasneem al